Welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. In case you're new here, I'm Sandra, and thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said before in all my videos, it has been a journey, and I'm super happy today to bring you another Dollar Tree somewhat wreath um, because we're going to be using some um, Dollar Tree items, but also items that I just kind of had left over in my in my um, closet. So. Um, this is a very budget friendly tutorial, also a very easy one. I'm going to be going step by step to show you guys how to make this super cute beach wreath because my local Dollar Tree has been really good about stocking this kind of stuff and I just think it's adorable. So um, it's perfect for where I live because I, I don't live at the beach, I live at the lake or I don't live at the ocean. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to do this and I'm so excited to get back to filming. So uh, let's point the camera down and get started. All right, everyone, as you can see, we are going to try a different angle today. I am really working on getting you guys a better perspective of like what I'm doing. Um, that way you can see me in action like this. So uh, anyways, let's get started. So. I have here a wreath frame that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's just, it just happens to be the gold one. This is the 14 inch wreath frame. And I've already cut my mesh into 14 inch rectangles. So this is 10 inches wide and then I cut it in a length of 14 inches. I am using four different colored meshes. I'm using this light, like cream color with the gold ribbon through it. Um, this more of a tan one, it's kind of fabric -y in a way. Then I have this really pretty like gray color and then a white, which will match my sign perfectly. So that's what it's gonna look like. And we're gonna do the woodland cruffle. I believe that's what it's called. Every time I say it, I always like second guess myself, but um, I'm always corrected that it is in fact the wooden the cruffle. All right. So what we're going to do, um, I'm not going to use these half pieces. I'm going to leave my pipe cleaners whole for this, um, for this, uh, tutorial. And I'm just going to start at one of the crossbars. Uh, why? Just because, and this is for the beginners. When people, if you're like me and you're curious and you're like, okay, this is my first time making a wreath. Why are you starting where you're starting? Is there a reason? Does it make a difference? I'm starting right here just because I want to. That's it. <laughs> so um, just start anywhere on the wreath. And then if you want to make your wreath, this wreath frame right here, um, just like a work wreath, which are the wreaths frames that already have the twisties on it, here's how you do it. So you wrap your full pipe cleaner around it, take it and then measure across, okay? Like so, you see what I'm doing? I'm taking this and I'm just going across like that. And where this ends is where my next pipe cleaner will go. Now, when you get towards the end, and I'm just going into the middle section now. Again, why, again? because I want to. <laughs> you don't have to do this. You can do this all the way in the center, the whole way around. I'm just, um, just, you know, uh, what is it? Staggering them. That's what I, I couldn't get that word. I was thinking stacking, but it's staggering. Um, so here we go. These may move on you. It is okay. Once you start building your wreath, you're not going to have to worry about the pipe cleaners slipping around too much and it doesn't have to be precise. So, and then here's another one. Um, I'm going to go back up to the top just because, and I do have a video that talks about why we space this out the whole enchilada. If you'd like to see that, I will be doing my best to put the link in the description box <laughs> so you can watch it because there's a whole thing that I learned about why we do what we do um and then just go around and do like so now I'm going to be adding more pipe cleaners than um than what you're going to see like as you know like how we're measuring I just kind of want to get like the foundation of a work wreath started on here and then I will add on my extra pipe cleaners only because of the woodland cruffle um, I want it to be a more 
I want it to be really full. And with these being spaced out as they are, it will not be full with the pieces that I've cut. You'll see when we get started, okay? Um, and as you can see, I'm just rough, rough, like estimating this rough. Let's see, I gotta come up with a cool name for it because I always just fly by the seat of my pants if you've watched any of my other tutorials. Now see here, okay, so when we do this, all right, and if we do this, we can see it kind of overlaps, you know, like, which is not a big deal. Um, just find a space in between and then go ahead and put your pipe cleaner. And now, like I said, we're gonna go back through and add more pipe cleaners. Now this technically is a work wreath that is spaced accordingly, you know, like, um, I guess you could say professionally or whatnot. This is what um, a work wreath would look like. Now, if we were doing a different style, this would be great. But like I said, we want to do more. So this gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I want to add about mm, 10 more. Okay. So now I'm just going to go through and we actually, now that I'm looking at this, we don't need the full length of the pipe cleaner. I just wanted to do that for this effect. And now I'm just going to cut these in half and um, just add them through here. Because I'm not adding ribbon, I really don't need the long pipe cleaner. I just need it to be long enough to hold my, um, my mesh in here. So now I just know I need 10. So I'm just going to space these randomly through here. And when we start the wreath making or putting the mesh on here, you'll see that it doesn't make a difference if it's up high or down low at this point. All right. And this is something when, so again, if you're a beginner and you're questioning like, why do we do what, why am I doing what I'm doing to make this specific wreath? I want to let you know, this is just because there's no rhyme or reason why I'm doing it this way. Um, so feel free to get creative with your patterns. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to follow a pattern basically. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you don't have to follow a pattern um, specifically because again, once you start getting that mesh on there, you're not really gonna see too much of it. All right, let me just add a few more. I already pre-cut 20, that's why I'm kind of like set on the 20, um, or else I'd be okay with this. Um, I'm just gonna add oop, some more. All right, let me see what I, kid lost count because I was talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, one more right here. Okay, let's go ahead and start creating and then if we need to adjust, we will. All right, so now that we have our work wreath, I'm just gonna pull my sleeves up because this mesh tends to get caught on my, um, my, my jacket. So we have the 14 inch cut. Now I'm gonna flip this over like so. I like to leave the edges just a little bit tucked so if it's curling, perfectly fine. And then just scrunch, just like so. Just scrunch till you get about almost to the end. And then just go ahead and scoop it together. You're gonna get something that looks like a little bow. Find your spot, place your um, mesh into the pipe cleaner. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to, let's see, let's do the gray one. I don't think I'm going to go in like a specific order when it comes to the colors. I'm just going to kind of, you know, grab whatever, but, uh, cause I want it to kind of just like, you know, be, be, uh, not so uniformed. So now I'm just going to go into the next pipe cleaner that I have. And as you can see, this is the tiny one. So this is why I'm saying that you didn't need to have the whole pipe cleaner. And then I'm just going to kind of poop it up a little bit adjust it. You can twist your bows to go this way or up and down. You can rotate them, you know, have one going that way, one going the other, whatever you see fit. 
And then you're just gonna repeat this step all the way around your entire wreath. And like I said, I'm roughly putting 20 on here. I say roughly because things can always change. I can always end up putting more on here, less on here. Um, it's totally up to you and your taste. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. Ah. And this is why it's super easy for beginners to do because as you can see, there's really not much to this. Rather than, you know, just cut your pieces, make your bows and stick it on here. You will have a fabulous wreath this way. And again, great for beginners. Okay, so now that I have my four colors on here, I'm just gonna kind of twist this a little bit because I actually want it to go uh, horizontal with the wreath frame. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of adjust. And you can adjust, oh, my nose is ready. You can adjust at any point in time. You can, at the end of the, your wreath making, if you're like, I don't like it this way, I wanna choose a different way, go for it. But this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue my way all around the wreath and then I'll be right back. wreath looks. I love these colors. Um, it's super cute. I do see some like, you know, gaps and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. And that's why I said like, you can go ahead and adjust this wreath or any wreath to what you want it to be. So I do have some more um, pipe cleaners that are cut right here. I have two, four, six, six pieces left um, from the original cuts. And so I'm just going to go ahead and sporadically put these in just in like the you know just to fill some gaps um all right so we're gonna put these in and you can see how simple this was you you can't mess up on your bows that's the thing like and as you can see, nothing is glued down, so it's super easy to fix any kind of mistake you think you may have made. Um, although I can't say that there's any kind of mistakes in creating. So, all right, we're just gonna adjust. All right, um, I'm gonna pull this back and see where I can fit another piece in. Okay, right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my pipe cleaners. Oh, I guess I'll have to do it individually like this. But let me go ahead and fill in my spaces. Like I said, I've got five more pieces left and then I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and filled in this, the um, kind of sparse areas. And I just wanna show you how cute this wreath looks look at the colors i love 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 and the reason why i did the four colors just so you guys know is because it's what i had left over um so i didn't actually go out and buy any of this um this mesh because i just went through my closet and just to see what i have left over because i need to do that um <laughs> i have way too much stuff in there um it needs to be used so here is my dollar store welcome um, sign that I'm going to be using. I've already got my hot glue gun heated up and how adorable is that? It's just going to sit there just like that. And I do have some uh, starfish that I also got from the Dollar Tree in that section. And let me just open this up. These are pretty light, they're plastic, 
or resin, whichever one, but aren't these adorable? So I could place a few on here like so. I think that is so cute. All right, just hypothetical, that's where they're gonna go. And then I also got these adorable sand dollars. How cute are these? Now I'm probably gonna grab some real shells that I used on the last wreath. So let me walk over here and grab them. And these were super easy to apply to the wreath. All right, so let's go ahead and get this sign on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue. Come on, little engine that could. All right, there we go. All right, I specifically wanted it like so. I'm gonna go ahead and put that underneath there. Make sure each section that I put glue on is gripped onto a piece of the mesh. I can't remember if I put any on that side. All right. Don't want to get burned, but I also want to make sure that the mesh has grabbed onto. There we go. There goes my little shells. Kind of want to tuck that back underneath there. Perfect. All right, there we go. The glue gun that I have, it puts out extremely hot glue. So I have to make sure that I don't touch it when it's um, really just piping hot. All right, so there we go. And now let me grab another little stick of glue. I get the glue from the Dollar Tree. So in case anybody's wondering like if it's good glue, it works. So, all right, and I've got some little shells here. I got this, I think from a yard sale, something along those lines, but these are adorable little shells that I'm gonna dump a few out. All right, and Here we go, we're gonna find some placements for this. Okay, let me just move around the table. There we go. And oh, there you go. One more, one more star. All right, um, I was thinking right about there. Okay, super, super cute. It makes me want to have like a little beach house. That way I can put this there. And I'm to cover that hole, I'm gonna put, as you said, saw, a little seashell there. I'm gonna get the edges. Right here. And I believe that the dollar store does carry like little shells. So um, if you wanna add some more like what I'm about to do, to your uh, wreath, I believe you can get them at the Dollar Tree. These are so adorable. All right. I have this big old wreath and yet I still like, I'm like, where should I put it? Um, how do you, how, what do you guys think so far of this? It's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Right there. I do have a bow um, that I made. Again, I, I made it already. And mm, I can't, when it comes to a bow, when it's on something like this, I'm like, is that too much? I think it's too much. I'm not doing it. I enjoy the simplicity of this with the little shells. Super adorable. Um, 
I am the queen though. Let me just say this. I am the queen of putting all kinds of trinkets on here. So don't let me not using that bow fool you. I am all about loading up a wreath, but for that, not so much today. All right. But I might put a million shells on here just because it is so stinking cute. And again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, are you guys going to run out to the Dollar Tree yourself and grab this, um, this cute little sign and some mesh? You know, and the great place, for, again, for beginners, if you're looking for mesh, hit up the thrift stores, hit up um, yard sales. That's where I tend to buy a lot of my stuff because it's just the cheapest way to go. Um, and even like when I buy rolls of like, or, you know, if at a yard sale, like of just half used mesh rolls, I always like combine them like I did today. So, all right, I'm going to put a couple more, more little seashells down here onto the sign itself. Super cute. All right. And okay, because I can't seem to stop, we're gonna do one more. And then I'm gonna pick it up and then just see where I'm at. Okay guys, here is the wreath. Um, I think it came out super adorable. As you can see, the little shells just, you know, are sprinkled across the wreath. I love the colors, everything about it. It just looks super adorable. Um, yeah, very budget friendly, very quick to do. I love how it turned out. Okay, everyone, that is it. That is the Dollar Tree um, budget friendly, and I say Dollar Tree again very loosely, Dollar Tree very budget friendly uh, wreath tutorial. I hope you guys were able to follow along, especially the beginners. That's what I really see here on my channel. I see a lot of new people coming to learn how to make a wreath, and I want to be able to break it down to you step by step and then let you know why I'm doing it like that. Cause I think that's the most important part um, when you're learning is like, okay, why is someone doing what they're doing? So then I know how to do my own wreath in the future, you know? So, um, so yeah, get creative. Like I said, there's no making mistakes when you're, when you're creating something like this, just remember to have fun. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. The subscriptions mean so much to me. Hit your, hit the thumbs up. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like let's, let's become friends and interact. I have made so many friends on here that I just, oh, my heart is just bursting. So anyways, I'm so excited to get this, um, tutorial out for you guys. I'm going to hang this up in my shop. Um, look at the description box. You'll find the links to my website for my shop, all of the stuff that you need to know. And, um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week, whatever you guys may be doing, have fun and be safe. Bye guys.